Python also lets you use this function input to grab value from the user. Like any code that I have, I can say, for example, let's say that I want to grab from the user his name. So I would put a variable called name and I would say input what is your name. If I run this, let me print it on the console so that you can see it. Name. If I run this, I will get prompt as a user, what is your name? Let's say my name is Marcus. And then it's going to show up. My name is, no, what is your name? Marcus. Here's the value, you see? This what is your name was printed because normally the prompt is here in the command line. But in this interface, it's showing up as a model window, like it's showing up. So we're being asked right now, let me reset the exercise. We are being asked with this exercise, let's run it. What is your age? Let's say that I'm 20. So it's saying your age is 20. We have to add 10 years to that variable. So if we want to add 10 years, age already has a value because it was set by the user. So all we got to do is sum 10 to that value. And you have to put it inside the str function, this one, because age is a number. But Python only can print strings. If I, for example, if I remove this str from here and I run it, it's not going to let me because it's going to tell me that it can only print strings. You see? can only concatenate string. It can only concatenate, and this is the concatenation, it's combining age with the rest of the string, of the words, and that can only be done by strings. So I have to put str and convert that number into a string. But I don't want to do plus 10 at the end, because if I do plus 10 at the end, like after the parentheses, I will be doing a plus 10 to a string. So the word hello plus 10 doesn't make any sense. You're not going to add 10 to hello. Just being hello any string. So we got to add 10 to the value before converting it into a string. You can also do this in a previous line here. Like, for example, let's say h is equal to h plus 10. So now I'm reassigning h to whatever it had before, plus 10, and then I can print that h as a string here. That could be. Or I could have another one saying total. Total is equal to the h that was given by the user plus 10, and then I print total here. That will also work. So let's say that I'm 40, plus 10, it would be 50, and here is 50. We test it with 50, and it's amazing.